Welcome back Clashers and welcome to those new viewers. This is Galadon. You are watching Clash of Clans Attacks and this is the third episode in the epic inter-clan matchup series between internal Lost Phoenix clans. Today we continue to focus on my clan matchup. I am in LP6 Pegasus and we are facing our nemesis LP6 Minotaur and as you can see we still have a comfortable lead but a few of their top players like JLo have yet to attack. But we have had some fantastic attacks so far and I wanted to show some of the slightly lower town hall level attacks that have taken place beginning with this from Lord AAA from LP6 Pegasus attacking Nikki Yale from LP6 Minotaur. It's still strange to see that. Now this is cool because you've got a Town Hall 9 base with a very familiar looking Town Hall 10 setup. I've seen this base layout many many times at Town Hall 10. It can be a little bit difficult to get through because you've got those outer boxes like that. It's going to pull units to the side rather than heading them towards the Town Hall. You've got to be really careful about clearing all of those surrounding structures. The heroes, as you can see, Lord AAA has started by luring the heroes out and very effectively using the hero lure, bringing the royals out for execution at the far right side of the base here. And once he does, here comes those mini golems. Well, not mini golems, they're full-size golems, but they're just not maximum level. And as you can see, that golem moved in in front of the clan castle witches, which was super effective because now it's protecting those clan castle witches for even longer. That's something that I probably should start to consider in my attacks. Really like that. It makes those clan castle troops last longer so that they can do double duty, executing the heroes and moving in towards the inside of the base. You can see that most of the surrounding structures way off to the left are already gone. The clan castle has come out, perfectly placed rage spell right in that little funnel. Still got some wall breakers headed just to try to make sure that we can clear all those side structures. Look at that path to the town hall. It's so inviting. It says, come on king, come on queen. And here they come, right down the middle, more or less. Let's see how intelligent the town hall nine heroes are as they got to get rid of some of those surrounding structures. But look at that. After one building, the queen goes right to the town hall. The town hall down almost immediately. We're already at 50%, two stars, an excellent, excellent attack by Lord AAA and a good example of a mini go wee wee. So as that attack wraps up with two more war stars for LP6 Pegasus, we move on to Black Spider-Man. And now Black Spider-Man is a Town Hall 7, and here he is attacking a Town Hall 8 base with all of his level 2 dragons. And this really comes down to, well, yes, dragons are a bit overpowered, but the spell timing and placement, again, is critical here. As you can see, the first rage went down to make sure that they got rid of the uh, clan castle troops. And once those first two pretty well upgraded air defenses are down, the dragons are just going to have a heyday, you're welcome Supercell, with the rest of this base. They're just going to run their way through it, they're not worried about mortars, those wizard towers aren't going to be that much of an effect. That last air defense is pretty low level here. Here comes the second rage. Now watch how long and how many dragons can use this second rage spell. They take out the town hall, but they're also going to use it to take out both of those Teslas, that mortar, the wizard tower, and the elixir storage to the left. That is the key to using a rage spell effectively. You've got to try to get as many structures destroyed within the radius of that rage spell as you possibly can. And here Black Spider-Man did just that, took out numerous structures. He's used all of his rage spells now. So it's just a matter of going through the rest of the village. And as you can see, there's 79, 82% damage done. This is definitely going to be a three-star victory for LP6 Pegasus. And part of the reason that we have such a, well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it right now, an insurmountable lead. Yes, I'm calling a victory for LP6 Pegasus. I will be back tomorrow with a clan war wrap up of our epic clan war, but please do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. In the meantime, we put frequent updates on the clan wars on our Facebook page. And once again, thank you very much for your likes, comments, and your subscriptions. I appreciate it very much. We'll see you tomorrow with some more full attacks.